my name is Tanya Lim and I'm a certified professional dog trainer, knowledge assessed, and I'm the co-founder of Family Pups. The question that I'm going to answer today is, what is the treat pyramid? Let's jump into it. In dog training, treats play a crucial role in motivating and rewarding our dogs. However, not all treats are created equal. There are typically three categories of treats, low, medium, and high value treat rewards. In this video, we'll explore the concept of different value treats and how they can be used to effectively train dogs. Let's start with low value treats, which are typically kibble or dry biscuits. The most common example of successfully using low value treats in training is when you are training your dog inside of your home. When we first start training, a new puppy or an adult dog it's very likely that we can solely use their kibble meals as rewards during training here are a few reasons why we are training at home without or with minimal distractions using their kibble meals allows us a good number of repetitions when teaching new basic skills such as sit without having to worry about the calorie intake take since that's the food they're going to get for the day anyway. I advise all of my clients to use their puppy or adult dog kibble meals to their advantage during training and also use it to stuff food dispensing toys instead of serving their meals in a bowl. Of course, how often we can do this may vary, but typically I'd recommend doing it at least once per day. Let's move on to medium value treats. Those can be pumpkin, blueberry, peanut butter type of treats. And of course, just like with any of these categories, the dog is going to determine their own preferences when it comes to those treats. Once we've taught the dog how to perform basic manner skills such as sit, come when cold, or touch a palm with their nose, it's time to take those skills out and about. It's always a good idea to introduce varying distractions gradually so that your dog does not get overwhelmed. Start by practicing their basic manners during quiet times in your neighborhood where there wouldn't be too many people or if you live in a busy area it's always a good idea to drive to a quiet spot to where you can practice. For these sessions you can use medium value treats since you've chosen an environment that doesn't contain too many novel stimuli or distractions. Now let's talk about high value treats. Those are usually treats made out of real meat such as the freeze-dried variety from Fig and Tyler that I use in training on a daily basis or boiled chicken, hot dog, cheese and so on. I typically use high value treats when working in busy environments that contain a good amount of distractions. This may be our local park at a busy time of the day, local breweries or coffee shops. Since those are typically areas with tight spaces that contain a lot of distractions. Also, when practicing come when cold with other dogs being present or when passing by other dogs and people on walks. Having the reward that your dog dog loves the most can make all the difference when it comes to their motivation to train with you. I've noticed that oftentimes there might be a discrepancy between what people think is a high value treat and how the dog actually responds to those treats. For example, if we are trying to use a certain treat but the dog is looking past it unresponsive and focused on whatever has caught their attention, this is a signal for us to use a different and usually a high value treat in order to be able to re-engage the dog into training with us. As we start to wrap it up, here are three things to remember. First, 
different value treats play their own role into successfully training your dog. Second, when training out and about, make sure to have at least three different types of rewards so that if your dog becomes distracted, you can use something new and this way use the power of novelty to your advantage and third the environment and the distractions in it are going to determine the value of your rewards so typically low value rewards equal low distractions and high value rewards are going to be used in areas with lots of distractions. So in order to determine the treat pyramid for your dog, experiment with different food rewards and compile three different options in each category. Happy training!